The Dodgers set the record for the most runs scored in a single inning in the postseason. This one's brought to you by DraftKings, and let's take a look at how it went down. Mookie Betts swings at the first pitch, hits it down the third baseline. Camargo makes a great play and almost gets him, but replay shows he was safe. They called him out on the field, and this this play... How much could this have changed the whole trajectory of the game? Who knows, because they overruled it. They got it correct. They said, you're safe. And then the Dodgers dugout starts cheering for Chop, because that's the guy that does their replays. Chop, Chop, Chop. And they're all pointing him out, and Chop gets the big win. No one cares that Mookie hit a single. It's Chop. He's the man of the hour. The very next pitch, Seager puts one to left. Austin Riley has to avoid his teammate, puts on the brakes, which leads to him sliding into the wall. Mookie Betts sees this. He puts on the burners and speeds home. That's two pitches thrown, two runs. So now Kyle Wright on the Braves like, hey, I can't put another pitch in the strike zone. We can't have three pitches, two runs. So he just dirts one, completely dirts one. And then he puts another one in the dirt. Now he's got to come to him 2-0, and he gets the ground out. And Camargo makes the play. Then he gets Muncie to ground out. Runner moves to third. But, hey, you're at two outs now. Only one run scored. Now Will Smith is up. He loses him. He throws three straight balls. Smith takes a fastball down the middle, the free strike, and then he puts one into the outfield. It drops in front of him, but he makes a hell of a scoop and gets it in. Another run would score, and they almost get him at second, but they do not. Safe. So now there's two runs, but still only two outs, and Cody swings at that, and, man, that's bad. And then... And then our dude Kyle Wright kind of gets squeezed a little bit because, I mean, that looks pretty good, but it's called the ball. It's a little high. I mean, technically the letters. Uh, that's called a ball. And then let's see the next pitch we got here. Okay, that's a ball. That's truly a ball. And then this pitch is called a ball. And I don't know. That looks pretty nice to me. Not bad. Uh, so now it's three and one, and then that pitch is way on the ground. So there's a walk. I mean, starts the at-bat swing. Let go of your bat. Takes his bat the whole way. Now, that is called a ball, which might have been low. Then he chases there. So, Jock in 1-1 count. Way off the plate. Change up. And then another change up. And Jock throws that into the bullpen. Melanson, where are you at? Thought you'd catch it. They wave to each other as they're around the bases. Hey, you headed home? Yeah, me too. They show Mookie cheering. And then FS1 cuts back to the game. And bam! Another home run just like that. Rios goes deep, and Kyle Wright gets into a robot blink fest. Can't believe it. What's happening? What is this? Trying to function, trying to figure it out. Next batter, nowhere near the plate. I'm not. I nowhere, Dude, I'm not going to give up another home run. So he just walks in. Snitker comes out, says, nice job, uh, but not really. And then he ponders it for a little bit. Don't think too long on it. You know, got to have a short memory. Mookie Betts is up again for the new pitcher. He goes 2-0. He goes 3-0. He walks. How about that? Now Seager's up again, and he goes first pitch hunting, and he sends Mookie flying around the bases all the way to third this time. Doesn't score. Now we're at 7 nothing, and here's where it gets Pretty fun, unless you're a Braves fan. Turner's up, and he, uh, well, they call that just a wild pitch, and they let the run score, and then they go to review it, and they check the replay, and this is what the replay shows, and it shows Turner kicking the ball. I mean, just straight. uh, I think that ball might bounce right there. Might be helpful if I kick it. The rule says that the batter has to avoid the ball, uh, which is not what he did here. It's not It's not. he's out if he intentionally puts his body in front of the pitch. It says he has to make an effort to avoid the pitch, which, you know, JT didn't really do here. But because they called it a wild pitch and they went to replay to check it, the rule also explicitly states that when you go to replay, you cannot determine whether the batter hit the ball on purpose or that rule at all. I don't know. They don't let you do that during replay. So the only thing they can do is say, yeah, it hit him. It looked pretty intentional, but we don't have the power to say that. So now the bases are loaded. Max Muncy comes up. I'm watching on my live stream, having some fun. Can't believe this is happening. Just And and throw this out there. I mean, Uh, if Muncy doesn't hit, if Muncy hits a grand slam here, I will empty a packet of bugs into my mouth. 3-2 pitch coming. Bases loaded. Two outs. No. No. Too high. Oh, no. no. 
So, yeah, Muncie went super deep, uh, real painful, hit the Grand Slam. Hey, let's fucking go. Makes it 11 nothing. I have to eat bugs, unflavored crickets, original flavor crickets, a whole entire packet in my mouth. Disgusting. Holy shit. At the end here, yeah. it tastes like bugs. Yeah. So this one was brought to you by DraftKings. Go to DraftKings. Use promo code JOHNBOY. Choose the Dodgers always and forever because they're the best. Three home runs in the first inning. That's a record. Three home runs in a single inning in the playoffs. That's a record. 11 runs in a single inning. Inning in the playoffs, that's a record. I ate a mouthful of bugs. DraftKings, John Boy, promo code, DraftKings app. End of the video. Good job by the Dodgers. 